This video is just a quick preview of one of over 200 step-by-step -step percussion lessons included in our Conga Chops membership. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and head over to congachops.com to start your free seven-day trial and check out everything we've got on the site. Licks, riffs, chops, whatever you want to call them, they can have all sorts of different functions and serve as a great tool to help us express ourselves freely on our instrument. Now, it's important to note that without all of the language made up of the figures and phrases and the different concepts we've covered so far in this course, these simple chops don't really carry that much weight on their own, and when they're overused, can sound incredibly repetitive and dull. So just as with our language-based solo phrases, it's where, when, and how we choose to use these chops that can make them incredibly impactful. Now, just for clarification, for the purposes of this course, what we're referring to as far as chops are concerned are pretty much any group of notes played closely together to create a fast shape or figure. So in this lesson, we're going to work on using eighth note triplet chops that can be commonly heard in the conga's old school soloing language. Our first phrase is really just a simple lick that we can use any time we would normally play this figure that we've seen so often in this course. Now, because it takes up the same amount of space and time in the bar and serves basically the same purpose, it can be used interchangeably with this figure. And we can choose to play it with or without a ghost tone on the first triplet. So let's see what it sounds like when we alternate our two note and three note figures after playing a simple quarter note triplet phrase. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you can hear that this simple three note figure serves basically the same purpose. Of course, since the notes are played closer together, it will take some decent technique to play efficiently. So if it feels a bit too challenging at faster tempos, make sure to spend some time with our Conga Technique Deep Dive course, which will give you all the step-by-step -step fundamental exercises you'll need to develop your technique and your single strokes. So let's work on alternating those phrases one more time over a tumbao at a bit faster tempo. One, two, one, two, three, four. The next chop we'll work on is a signature lick from one of the most trailblazing and legendary congueros of all time, the great Candido Camero. In fact, you can hear him playing this lick with great facility on a track called Rhythmorama from Kenny Burrell's self-titled 1956 release, where Candido trades licks fluidly with drummer Kenny Clark. Now just to put this into perspective, the technique, speed, and fluidity that Candido and Tata Wines were playing with at this time were virtually unheard of as far as conga players. They truly open the doors for every generation to come. Now, this lick is also a great tool for working on our coordination, as we'll play the same shape leading with either hand. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four.
In contrast to the rest of what we've studied up until now in this course, for these faster chops, efficient sticking will really come in handy to help us play the figures with minimal effort. So now that we've worked on leading with either hand, let's repeat this shape a bit closer together to create our full chop. One, two, three, four. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what we do on conga chops and how we can help you further your skills, come check us out at congachops.com. We've got an incredible library of step-by-step -step courses and lessons, over 10 hours of exclusive practice loops, hand-picked Spotify playlists for each pertinent course and lesson on the site, and an amazing community forum where you can meet and discuss with other members, as well as get one-on-one -on -one feedback on everything you're working on. Just click the link below to grab your free seven-day trial and see what it's all about. Now, please don't forget to show your support for our channel by giving this video a like, leaving a comment down below as far as what you'd like to see me cover next, and hitting subscribe so you can catch our new videos. I'll see you in the next lesson.